Hello, I'm Mark Eckert, Compaction Product Manager for Volvo Construction Equipment North America. Today we're here to talk about the Volvo Copilot Display. Let's have a look. The Volvo Copilot Display is set up as a secondary display to the machine. When the machine is turned on, it comes on automatically. If still, while the machine is running, it will simply go into sleep mode until it is opened again or the machine is turned off. When it is open, the first thing it will do is connect the GPS. This may take a few minutes. In the top left-hand corner of the screen, you see the vertical bars that indicate GPS satellites are locked on. We're seeing five bars because we have an RTK land base up and running. Only two bars light up when a land base is not available. The system will work with or without the land base, but the GPS will be less accurate. If no bars light up, there isn't any satellite coverage. The time of day is displayed at the top center of the screen, and the machine's travel speed will be displayed in the top right corner of the screen. In work mode, the operator selected target passes will be displayed just below the time of day. The settings tab is located on the right side of the screen. The steering wheel icon in the center of the machine indicates the system is still in transport mode. And the menu bar at the bottom includes the hard hat to put the system into work mode and access to information about the work order, lift, and calibration. Let's look at the settings menu before we go into work mode. Within the settings menu, the operator can change setup options such as time zones, screen brightness, and day and night modes. To change any of these, navigate to the settings menu by simply tapping the settings tab on the right of the screen. Tapping work order will bring up your work orders. Tapping machine will simply provide the machine information. If there's an error message, they will also be located on this screen. Tapping the setup will bring up a menu to make changes for setup and operation of the system. It is here where you can select pass map always or pass map only when vibration is on. Under system, you can change the brightness or select day mode and night mode. You can also change your time zone and language. English, Spanish, and French may be selected. Now let's take a look at the screens the operator will use during compaction. The first one I want to point out is pass mapping. On the main screen, you simply tap the hard hat to put the system into work mode, and the screen will default to the pass mapping screen. There are two other selectable main screen views, density and temperature. On the pass mapping screen, you will see the machine icon in the center of the screen and a color palette representing passes along the left side of the display. When on the pass mapping screen, you will still see the real-time density estimate as a value in the density circle, and the real-time mat temperature as a value in the temperature circle. This is very important for the operator because we want the operator to be spending most of the time on the pass mapping screen to ensure uniform coverage and consistency in the rolling pattern. We also want to provide the temperature and density information. The Copilot display provides us with the best pass mapping screen on the market today. By simply glancing up at the screen, the operator can keep track of pass count, pass overlaps, and starts and stops of the roller. Tapping the temperature circle will bring up the temperature mapping screen. The color palette on the left here identifies temperature ranges. On this screen, we are looking for consistency and ideally a narrow range of colors. The screen will also identify high and low temperature ranges established during setup and calibration. So the operator will have an indication if he or she is outside of that range. The circle will also change color if the temperature value is out of the established range. A red ring around the circle will indicate the material is too hot for compaction, and a blue ring indicates that it is too cold. Now that we've covered pass mapping and temperature mapping, let's take a look at the density mapping screen. Tapping the density circle will bring up the density mapping screen. Again, we have a color palette on the left side. Here, it is to represent the percentage of change in density. We are again looking for consistency and inconsistency in the values. The circle on the screen will not display an estimated density value until the machine is calibrated. 